Hey, this is Kendra with Technology Interpreters. And so today we're gonna to be hacking Redeemer. Now, what is Redeemer? We're gonna be doing some database hacking and we're gonna hack a database that's named Redis, which is a in-memory database. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so what you see here is I'm gonna go ahead and copy. I've already done the basic stuff. If you don't know how to connect, I've got videos on my channel to show you how to connect to hack the box, etc. cetera. Um, so copy the IP address, gonna go here. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I operate out of the downloads from folder because sometimes you're gonna be uploading downloads, fi downloading files, and the download folder has permissions that allow you to do so. So if a lot of times you've ran the wrong directory, the permissions can cause issues. So now I'm in the download folders. What it wants me to do is it wants me to ping. Okay, this is the enumeration. So we need to make sure the target is there. So we're gonna ping, and I'm gonna control shift V to paste that in terminal. I got replies, so boom, I sent out the signal. It says, hey, I'm here. All right, so good. Now we know we're connected. Let's go ahead and clear the terminal. The next thing it wants us to do is wants us to run a port scan. So in map minus P minus dash SV. So let me explain what minus P minus. That means scan all ports. There's 65,535 ports on a networking device, okay? Or on a network connection for an individual interface. And so if you don't scan them all, then you don't, you may miss something. You may miss a service that's available via the internet or via the local network that you can't exploit. If you don't understand ports, go look it up, go look up TCP, UDP ports and understand that it's very important if you're going to continue down this road to cybersecurity. So now that I got this minus SV, that means it won't, I want it to tell me the version number. So minus SV means version and then the IP address. And I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. Okay, so now it's gonna start my nmap scan. This may take a minute. So what it does is goes through and tells what Redis is. Make sure you re read that. But it's a remote dictionary server, it's housed in memory. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna like use this thing called Redis tools to access it. So what we gotta do is we gotta be able to install Redis tools, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'll open a new tab. And I'll just go ahead and make it bigger. By the way, I'm pressing Control and the plus key at the same time, okay? So to make this really, really big so that you all can see it. So what it wants me to run is it wants me to do sudo apt install readers tool. So let's do that. sudo apt install redis-toll readers tools, okay? It's gonna ask me, so sudo means I wanna run this as administrator. And it wants the password, which is Kali on the Kali Linux box, which I hope that you're doing it because my tutorials are geared towards that. So it wants to do that, take up additional space. I'm gonna hit yes there and let that work. And so now it's downloaded readings. At the same time, my scan has just completed. So that's good. So we'll circle back. So now it looks like we got Redis installed. My scan is completed. So now it wants me to type commands. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go to downloads. Remember, I always told you, I go to the downloads. That's where I operate out. The more experienced people do it differently, but this is what works for me. So everybody has to find their own pace. So it wants me to type Redis dash CLI dash dash help. And so, okay, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but oh well, I don't even know how to rotate that. Let's see. Rotate command. You know, I'll just relaunch the guy, you know, stuff happens. So. I'm probably not going to uh, probably not going to edit this out. <laughs> and so, by the way, let me know if y'all are OK with this being like free flow, because I can make more videos if I don't do a lot of heavy editing. OK, so we got the guy back. And so I'm going to go ahead and run this command now. Sudo apt. No, I've done that. It's going to be Redis. R-E-D-I-S dash C-L-I dash dash space dash dash help. Notice it turns green when I get the command right. So it's telling me all the different commands that I can use or read us, okay? All right, so that's what the help file does. It gives you all the syntax, which is basically how to type the command. All right, and so it's got a little shown a little bit better here in the guide. So, but basically dash H is host name. We're gonna use that, dash P for port. All right, and so we'll figure it out. So let's go to the next one uh, and what it wants us to do. Uh, so it wants to do read us help and a target name, read us uh, dash H for host and target IP. So let's go ahead and recopy the target IP and like read a CLI dash H control shift V. All right. And so we ran a read this command and looks like that actually connected us to the 
host. Okay. So now that we're connected and we're connected using port 6379. Okay. So that's what's working here. Now let's look at our MAP scan. Let's correlate, correlate this. Guess what we found? 6379 is open read us. And this is the version 5.0.7. So remember in hacking, you definitely want to know the version because there are multiple versions of software and the more recent ones probably are not exploitable, but you can usually find some older versions that may be exploitable. Okay. So now that we are connected to the readers box, it wants to run info. So this is basically where we start to poke and prod and understand things. So we're going to type the info and then that's going to give us information. And what we want to focus here is on these DBO keys. All right. And the guy walks you through all this. So I just skim the guys and I just kind of loosely run through these. And sometimes, but a lot of times I, I go through these. If I don't know it, I'll go through it two or three times. So I'll literally hack the box two or three times before I do a video on it. But I felt pretty comfortable because this one was straightforward. Okay, so what it's done is basically it's showing us now DB0 is for the number of database. Remember in computer world, one is naturally not the first. Things tend to start with zero as the first position, the first anything. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. In our world, think zero first, okay? And then number of keys, there are four. So this is actually like counting. So this is not position. This is counted so that four keys and there's one database. That's what the guide is walking you through and letting you know. Okay. So we want to do a select zero. This is very common when you're doing database type of stuff. So we're going to say select zero, which is we want to like interrogate database zero. And then it wants us to type keys asterisk, which we want to list all the keys that are in this database. All right. And so let's see, did we get it? Uh, nope, key actually, we need keys, typo, syntax. So K-E-Y-S, keys actually, so okay, cool. So this is interesting, so in this in-memory database, we've got four keys stored, and one of those is the flag, right? So what it wants us to do, it wants us to do the get key command, so we can view what's stored in each key by doing this. So in the tutorial, it wants us to do get temp first, all right, and that's the value in temp. It wants us to get store. And then it wants us to get known. And then it wants us to get flag. And that is the flag that we're gonna use to hack this box. Okay, so congratulations. You successfully retrieved the frag, the flag, the frag. We ain't throwing grenades. You successfully received the flag from the readers database. So anyway, with that being the case, control shift C to copy that. So now let's go through and let's answer all the questions. Okay. Which TCP port is open on the machine? Okay. So this is where we like, we drive this home 6379. Okay. That's our answer. That's number one, which service is running on the port that is open to on the machine. The service is read us right here. See service read us. That gives you a description and the version right there. That's part of the version, but the service is read us. All right, show that. That's correct. Okay. All right. What type of database is read us? Choose from the following option in memory database, traditional database. Read us is an in memory database. Okay. We saw that it's in the guide. So understand that. That means it's actually stored in the RAM of the computer. Okay. So there we go. And then which command utility? is used to interact with the reader server. Enter the program name that you will use to enter with the, the uh, that you will use to enter into the terminal without any arguments. So you remember it was the readers CLI. We should have it on my other screen here. If we scroll up, remember that's what we launched, we downloaded. So we got a lot of stuff here. I'm not gonna go through that. So it's the readers CLI, okay? But that's part of the guide and we, Yep, we we're right there. Read us dash CLI. So that's the answer for that one. Okay. And then what is the flag used uh, with the readers command utility to specify the host name? Dash H. Remember, based on the syntax of read us, we did the dash H, the dash help to get it, and dash H stands for host name. We could also specify a different port. Wait, maybe they configured read us for security. And maybe they changed the port from 6379 to something else. That's another method of security, what we call up security through obscurity, which means you basically put it somewhere or change something so it's not the default. But for this case, we know that the flag that was used 
<laughs> or dash H. Okay. And then once connected to the reader service, which command is used to obtain the information and st statistics about the reader's server. So information and statistics. So let's go back and let's look at our guide. So we did the dash H for target and we did the info command, right? They gave us the, the information about the keys. So that should be info. All right. Good deal. And what is the version of the reader server being used on the target? That is in our in-map version information. It's right here, version. The version is 5.0.7. What command is used to select the desired database in readers? Remember, we used the select command. How many keys are present inside the database with the index of zero? So database zero, remember we defined it and we did the info command. Let's see if I got readers here. Well, it's right there. So we ran the key asterisk and that shows how many keys. And by doing the key asterisk command, uh, it showed us that there were four inside the database. Which command is used to obtain all the keys in the database server? That's key, keys with S asterisk. Okay, remember that. And then submit the root flag. And that's where we got the root flag right there. It's the last one on the list. All of these are formatted like flag, but it wanted us to actually get the value for flag, which was here. Okay. And that's just me and my syntax. I type So that's the last entry right there for the flag. And with that, you've now just hacked another box. And that's the last one of this tier of the hack the box uh, learning course. What is this? Hack the box learning the hack the box, small pox. Hack the box learning the basics of penetration testing. So if you are a premium, okay, I can't do videos on this or I would violate the rules of Hack the Box. Anything that's VIP, I strongly consider you to go ahead and sign up for VIP, get additional experience. But I'm just letting you know, I cannot record or stream these because it is behind a paywall and that breaks the rules and Hack the Box can ban me for doing it. But now I'm going to be moving on to tier two because I want to do the ones that everybody has access to. So coming up, we're going to have appointment, SQL, crocodile responder, and uh, looks like the rest of them are behind the paywall. Okay, so we're going to have some fun. And then when we finish the tier one, we'll go to tier zero. So remember, and hacking starts with zero. So anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Only 12 minutes on this one. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. I am not editing this, so forgive me. Please give me feedback on the video. Let me know if this is helpful. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.